Hello guys and welcome to my channel uh, If you are watching this channel for the first time so Don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, In the last episode we did uh, display our contacts So in this episode we are going to add a new contact to our database So first of all we are going to uh, add a new file We can call it add contact .php. This file is going to receive the data which is, which is uh, will be coming from the form. First of all, we uh, include file which have the connection to the, tapa, the database database connection point php first of all we are going to receive the data from the inputs we are using this function file gets contents and we give php uh, and then we can we are going to make slash slash and the inputs so this function will get all the contents from the inputs and we have here the data next we are going to json encode the data now we have all the data in this request next we are going to add the query the query is the insert into and the table is contacts then we add the fields we have the name and the tell then we have the values so as i said all the values are in the request we are going to use the request so we say like this request name next we have the tell or the phone which is in the tell request tell and the request name next we are going to check if the function is executed if mysql query and do we give it the connection and the query next we are going to add a new contact array which will include all the information that we get from the form all the, the the all the information about that the contact that we did add to our table we are going to retrieve the name and phone next and the id for the id we are going to use the mysql e insert id to get to get the ID inserted, uh, the last ET inserted the MySQL insert in ET, and finally we are going to echo JSON encode. We are going to send back contact array as JSON. So here, this is the file that we are going to use to add the data inside the contacts table next we are going to add our uh, j uh, js function so we are going to add another function which is called add contact here add contact first of all we are going to make an http request which is a post request to the to the url we added for url is add contact points php then we are going to get the response the response which is the contact that we have added and because we have a couple of lines we, we, we will use the curly braces then we will add the contact the contact added we will add it to the 
contact array that we already have here this array so we can make this point points contacts points push we are using push which is which is a javascript uh, function to add the contact we receive from here to our array which is this one to display it here next we are going to check if we have any error if we have even any error we are, cons we are going to console log the error so that's all and uh, next i think uh, we are going also to use we are going to use also the suites which is uh, the alerts that we see in the demo for our projects we use while fire you can check the documentation for suites alerts they are they have some examples here we are going to fire uh, an alert the type is success and the title will be title will be added like this and finally we have text which is contact added so this is our function next we are going to add the form form so the form will be a model so we are going to use a model and the model will be uh, inside the, the don't forget you have to add the model inside the div which has the app id so because everything inside id app is uh, under the vue.js controller if you make something outside you are, uh, your application will not work as you expect so here we are going to add a div with the id add contact after we are going to add the class which is model and the tab index so this one just you can uh, go to the bootstrap website and you can check for the model and bring it to your project if you don't want to write html next we are going to to add another div which have the class modal dialog and next we have the role which is a document so next we have another div with class which is model header inside we are going to add a match 5 with a class uh, of model title model title and here we add uh, add contact which is the title next we can have the button the button with class of close just to close our model data this is here we have model and you can add the i don't know uh, inside you can add this one just span and inside span you can add times like this next we have the body we have the div which includes the body class modal body inside this one we have our form first one is class form group and inside we have inputs of cheap text and inside here so here we don't need a name we are going just to give class of form control and here we are going to link the form with a variable which is going to be an object we are going to add an object which include 
the name and the telephone and the phone we are going that we are going to use here we are i'm going to copy and paste the same thing here for the phone and here i can add tell and next we are going to add a button uh, here i'm going to just to so not to waste time i'm going to copy and paste this one here button and here i'm going to for the class at the class beta n beta n primary and uh, inside we have just text which is add and here we have uh, on click when i click on the button the add function will be executed here add contacts i will check just name of the function it is add contact i will bring it here so here in the actions or or uh, above inside the inside the here the call mt i'm going to add a nasheref or a link the data toggle which will trigger the model so i will give it data toggle model and for the data target which is the id of the model i will give it add contact add contact next i will give it a class which is beta n beta n tsm beta n primary primary uh, i will give it text uh, no, not a text but margin rights of 3 and here add now if i check my uh, so I, I think i have something wrong here if i check the console can root 3 it prop ah i forget to add the, the, the i forget to add the object here which is linked to our form so i will give it a name which is blank and tell which is blank so now if i refresh again the page i have all my contacts and i have here uh, the add uh, contact here i don't i think i think i have something wrong with this model i'm going to go back to the model where is the model the model is here i think i have something wrong here now so we have the model tab index here the model dialogue and the document the model header i think that's everything is i don't know what what is the just the problem exactly e I will try to get the model. I don't know get what stop. Oh, I think that this is the model that I know. Everything is, uh, is uh, everything is is alright. I don't know what was the problem in the components. I will check for the model, which is here. And I don't think that something is uh, it's different than this. I will check this one. I will copy and paste here inside uh, here. So I will just change uh, here the ID. I will give it add contact, which is the ID. And next here the title. I will add title here. Which is uh, model uh, add contact add contact next i will add the body just i waste time coding the model if i did it in the beginning it would be better but i hope this work 
Next, I will remove this footer because we don't need it. Okay, now I will remove the this one. Now I have the my model here. I will refresh the page. If I click now i have the i don't know what was wrong but at least i have the model if i try to add someone i will try to add someone james here something and they click on add so added is shown if i remove the the i don't know it's not added here I will refresh the page to check if it is not added or no. It is added, but it's it is not uh, because I forget which is the hiding the when I add a new contact. I uh, we must hide the model. I will uh, check. I will use the ID to hide the model i will use this function model hide it will hide this one and i will also empty the contact object i will use the default values request uh, so here i have the error it's not JSON, uh, it's not encode but decode. So this is the error that make our application not working. We are going to try another one. So here, James, and I will click on add. So now I don't know if it is added or no. So the same thing. Oh, the error. I don't know the error. <laughs> the error was here. I forget to post the data, which is the name. And this is the name which uh, I did forget to add. This point contact point name. We can get it from the objects that we have. Same thing for the phone. We can add from this point contact. Wow, phone, she's tell. So that's uh, we add, we get the name and phone from the objects and we send them to here to the get contact file. So now we are going to try to add someone new. So I have James and here. I have the number, phone number. If I click on add, so I think that's something. But, uh, because I was, I forget to remove this one. I was, I was looking for the error, and I forget to remove this one. I will try again, James, and here. If I click on add, it's added, and here I have James and phone number. Here I will check on the tab database. We have the same thing. So I will remove these ones, which are not which are, uh, empty ones. So next, ne in the next episode, we are going to see how to, to update a field. If we click on a field, we are going to update that field. So stay tuned and see you in the next episode.